hello guys welcome to a new video so today i'm going to show you four tips to um, run your lego rc car with as, ex as an example brushless lego uh, brushless motor into your lego car if you want to drive it that smoothly i'm going to uh, uh, give you four tips to do that so uh, tip number one, a lot of you, uh, or not a lot of you, but uh, Xavier, I don't know if I pronounce your name correct, but um, you asked me how I made the adapter for the motor to a Lego drive shaft. So I'm going to show that now. I'm also going to show you how to make one. Here is how I made it. So as you can see, that's my motor. This is the adapter. And this is a 380 size motor. So it's not a big one, but yeah, they, those adapters can take up to uh, what I've tested. Uh, those can take up to a 540 motor or a 3650 uh, brushless motor. Um, those are really strong. This adapter is really strong that I made. Um, I don't have the tool to um, deconnect the adapter right now uh, here. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So first, I'm going to show you guys how you can make an adapter. So what you need is an old pinion gear of an RC car with the diameter of your uh, shaft. In my case, uh, it's um, 3.175 uh, millimeters. Um, this one, I'm not going to do it with this pinion because it's completely stripped. This is not good uh, anymore for RC car driving, but you can use it easily for a adapter. And what you're also going to need is a little Lego, um, yeah, S, I don't know how you, uh, what's it called in English, uh, Axel, sorry, little Lego Axel, it's a four, uh, it doesn't matter uh, what length or what, it's uh, to uh, limit the pinion from going down and to do it uh, right, so uh, what I found is the easiest way is to take this pinion and you cannot use it to drive your spur as you can see um, because it's in uh, the hot glue and you also need a hot glue gun and you, uh, this is an option you don't have to but um, I found it more strong when you use um, heat shrink so that it clamps itself on, onto the gear, excuse me, uh, because it's going to sit like this. And uh, if you do the um, heat shrink with a lighter, it's going to melt the glue of the hot glue gun and it's going to uh, melt everything uh, between every teeth of the gear. So it's really strong. So I'm going to take, um, what I found is the easiest way to do is to take an old, uh, old motor shaft with the diameter of your motor or um, uh, the motor. If you have a um, 3.175 millimeter shaft, I recommend you do it on there. So it uh, fits uh, uh, completely in line with the whole of your motor. So it's not going to wobble. So wait a minute. So here I am again. Um, this is the rotor of an old uh, 540 brushless motor. And as you can see, um, I'm going to take my meter here. I don't know what it's called in English. Um, let's see. The shaft is third, uh, 3.1 millimeters. 
Uh, you can't see it right now. Wait, I'm going to take it off. Yeah. Here you can see it. It's uh, 3.1 millimeters. Yeah, it's not handy because my phone is in the stand. It's 3.1 millimeters, as you can see. So, what you want to do is you want to put your pinion gear on the shaft. And you don't have to do it with a broken motor. You can also do it when it's working. Just put the pinion all the way onto the shaft, as you can see. What you want to do now is take this, slide it onto it too. As you can see, it's, there's no slop. It's perfectly right, centered. Um, what you want to do now is take your hot glue gun. And you want to pull this off. Um, and let's see yeah, if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Um, I'm going to take my hot glue gun. And I'm going to put a little hot glue in the center. As you can see. And then put your pinion on. You see? So you can uh, spread it like this, the hot glue with your finger. So it's uh, it melts into the teeth. It's if you do that and you don't have access to heat shrink, you can do this. Like put hot glue all over the place and let it dry between the, between the teeth. So let's see. Oh, that's really hot. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. You have to wait until it's not that hot anymore because um, I burnt my finger right there. Ow, that hurts. But... If it's like this, you can easily do this. And this is going to work too. It's not as strong as uh, the other uh, one when you put heat shrink tubing on it. But it's strong enough, you know? Strong enough to hold the power of your motor. I'm going to put a little bit more because of the heat shrink tubing. Because if I put it on and I melt um, and I make it warm with the lighter, it's going to melt the hot glue again. And it's going to pour everything between the teeth, so it's really snug. Uh, let's see, I'm going to let this dry on a Lego wheel. So if you have this, wait a minute, uh, I have it all here already, already. Let's see, I'm going to cut off a little bit of the heat shrink. Let's see, here's my heat shrink. Yeah, right there. Don't want to cut it too long because then you, you can't put it on anymore in your motor. So, wait, I'm going to take a knife. This, uh, this won't work. It's magnetic. magnetic. That's why it's attracted to my knife. Lay it down. Put your knife on there. Yeah, nice. This is enough and you maybe think this is too wide, but it's gonna shrink around it, so that doesn't matter. This is too long, I see, but it's going to shrink, so... Let's take the lighter then. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it works. So here's my lighter. I'm using a... Yeah, it's a... Really, it's a... Um, you say it? Gas-powered lighter. I don't know how you say it. It's really hot, so you have to do it really distanced. 
as you can see it's melded all around the place and you can do this roll this and around so it you can remodel it basically oh i put it off put it off you don't want to pull it, pull it off so i'm remodeling it My lighter is uh, I need a new one. Nah, it's good enough. It's good enough to show you guys. So once you have this and it's too long, pull out your knife again and use it to cut to cut it right here. As you can see, you can pull it off now, if it's dry. Nice. And now you have an adapter, adapter for your Lego car. So this is how to make one. Um, it's really, really, really hard to pull, pull this off. I can show you it. So I'm putting it on a shaft right now. And I'm putting this Lego uh, uh, axle in. As you can see, I cannot pull it off. It pulls itself out. That's how strong it is. And really, it's uh, it can take really much abuse. Because this is a 3200 kV motor, so it's really low kV that's in there so it has really really good torque this is my new dragster pro project wait a minute i'm going to show you so this is my new dragster pro project as you can see it's a lego dragster should be a video coming soon about this um right, what i'm going to show you now is tip number two and that's how to remove hot glue of your um, Lego uh, car. When you like um, stick it with hot glue, when you stick your EC on the Lego, it won't come off in it on its own if you have good hot glue, like this one. If you have this one, this EC, it's stuck with hot glue. You, uh, you can see it right now. I glued it on with hot glue. So what you want to use now is nail polish remover because there is uh, alcohol in there and what it does it um, softens up the glue so you can remove it. I'm putting a little bit right now into this cup as you can see I'm holding my ESC right like this. And pouring it over there a little bit not much as you can see I poured it over there and it, it immediately comes loose here it, it's loose um, yeah you hear to click look it's it's um, yeah you can see that it um, works it all the way through so no matter how much uh, glue you have on there, it's gonna pull it off. It's really easy. And now you can pull this glue off of your Lego part. As you can see, it's not that hard. So that was uh, tip number two. Now I'm going to show you how you can make your electronics waterproof. So what you can do now is the opposite of nail polish remover and that is of course nail polish so when you put this on um, i'm using the uh, transparent one so i can see the circuit uh, but what i did is i did it on this yes uh, this uh, receiver i can't show you right now because it's closed 
but what you want to do is you want to take your nail polish and I know uh, your mother has some uh, nail polish so I think and you want to put it all around your um, you need to take out you need to take uh, out your receiver out of your case so you can put it on the circuit itself I'm putting it right now on the case so it's an extra little waterproof to show you guys but it's not uh, a thick layer a little layer around it and you're done and it helps because nail polish is a little layer that protects your nail from um, scratches and all that stuff so when you put it on a, a circuit it's going to protect it as well and it's going to take it uh, to make it watertight first when I put this in the water it shuts down so you can't use it anymore you need to dry it but uh, when I put uh, nail polish on it you can hold it on the underwater and it works just fine and you can take it off by putting nail polish remover on it so it's not permanent so tip number four is you want Vaseline and you may be asking why you want Vaseline um, if you don't put it on your axles in your uh, Lego uh, building it's going to melt it's going to melt all your axles if you have brushes motor if you have brush motor it's you most likely gonna melt axles as well but not as often as brushless motors do because brushless motors uh, spin, at a, spin at a much higher RPM so I'm putting it in right now and going to connect my ESC to it and I'm, I'm going to show you how fast this goes excuse me um, let's see uh, yes channel 2 so let's put this wheel on so you can see how fast it spins you see sounds uh, sounds uh, it's like going to take off I need to put the it would, a bit higher yeah like this you can see it good right now let's see You can see it spins really fast. It's really strong as you can see. I did a burnout as you can see here. So you want to put Vaseline in all of your axles. Everything that drives the axle you need to put Vaseline in, in there. As you can see, I put it here, right there. There's Vaseline. There's a bit Vaseline. All the way through where the axle drives the wheels. There's Vaseline, as you can see. If you don't do that, it's going to melt. So, yeah. These were my four tips for making your LEGO RC car drive well and smoothly. So you can put a brushless motor in it. So this is my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I hope you uh, found it helpful. If you did, smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.